Welcome back. We're investigating these biotopes using these field units to scan them. In the hope we'll never be able to cover that much area ourselves, but the field units are programmed for it, and they're much faster. Okay. In the hope that uh, we can use them to either find Dr. Hunfors or to find out what she was doing, which may lead us to her as well. Um, okay. So, first we're going to need to... Uh, well, let's look around first, actually. We do not know enough about the biotopes to accurately direct the field. Yeah. I just want to look at it. I didn't want you to tell me something you'd already told me before. Nothing else to look at here. So, I'm going to need the battery again. This is a topographical map of the biotope. The main habitats are within the jelly corals and the water. According to the kiosk map, the population within the living jelly corals is constantly in flux. Fascinating. Well, let's uh, send the aquatic field unit. And we'll once again speed it up a little bit. This takes so much time if you don't know the shift trick, which, as I told you before, I didn't the first time I played this game. Okay, I think that's all of them, so let's extract the samples. Good. Well, there is one more biotope on the other side. The canyon biotope sort of a uh, Grand Canyon looking. For some reason this just really looks like a particular scene from Space Quest 4 when they're uh, in the when you're in the Space Quest 10 time period. You may know what I'm talking about there. Or maybe you don't. We do not know enough about them. Yeah yeah yeah. This is a topographical map of the biotope. The main habitats are the caverns, the pit, and the crater. Okay. See what According to the kiosk it? map, the pit contains a significant amount of water, despite the arid climate. According to the kiosk map, the caverns are home to 568 plant and animal species. According to the kiosk map, the crater is home to 229 plant, insect, and small reptile species. It's amazing how they have these completely different uh, biospheres so close to each other. What do you think the this is? Stalled. It is not configured. Oh, that's the wrong one. I want to have a rocky field unit. I mean, what do you think this is? Planet Genesis? Ruined the timing of my joke. Using the wrong field unit. Um, okay. Now, the pit. And the crater. Extract samples. This sample indicates a vegetarian diet, but the ID tag identifies the Sunil rodent as a carnivore. Additional lab work would be advisable. 
No, a diff is a ball, apparently. I didn't actually know you could do that. I only I knew you could um, investigate them in the lab. I didn't know you could uh, click on them like that with uh, this thing. I did it by accident. Okay, there are only three samples here. Let's take that battery. I keep it keeps just moving two uh, at a time instead of just one. Okay, well let's head back to the lab and look at these samples. I see no way of using. I don't know. We have to use them with the sonic scope, not the bio table. Diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. Subject's genetic signature differs from its identification tag. Okay, we have another incorrectly uh, identified animal here. Serial diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. Subject's neural pathways have been drained of electrical energy. Hmm. That's the same thing we saw in one of the carcasses. Serial diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. Subject's neural pathways have been drained of electrical energy. Okay. Serial diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. All readings are normal. Very interesting. Serial diagnostic tests. Yep, that's another normal one. Serial diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. Subject's genetic signature differs from its identification tag. Another misidentified one. Serial diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. All readings are normal. Another normal one. Alright, let's test these ones. Serial diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. Subject's neural pathways have been drained of electrical energy. More neural pathway drainage. Serial diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. Subject contains high ionic residue and trace amounts of neural tranquilizers. Originating creature may consume energy. Hmm. Could that creature be the one that's responsible for draining all these others? Serial diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. Subject's neural pathways have been drained of electrical energy. Serial diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. Subject's genetic signature differs from its identification tag. Okay. So I have a whole bunch of other incorrectly tagged animals, a whole bunch of other animals that have been uh, drained of their electrical energy, and we have one animal that seems to be capable of draining other energy. And that's strange, because uh, both Tracker Melas and Consultant Idia said that there shouldn't be such a thing anywhere in the anywhere in the reserve. But apparently there is. Well, Idia suggested that we talk to the watchers. So let's do that. I think we should be able to find them at the quarantine shelter. Or possibly not. Okay. This panel controls access to the quarantine area. The gates open automatically in the event of a power failure. The harmonic collector operates on the same principle as the Bussard Ram Scoop collector. Its purpose, however, is to reconfigure sound waves. Um, that makes no sense whatsoever. This cage was broken open from the inside. Most likely by the last creature it held. 
No, I think more creatures have been held in this cage after it's been broken. Intriguing. These generators create a network of force field segments to form separate containment areas. This is the harmonic collector control. The collector has been set to emit a brief high energy pulse. Wait, is it the collector or an emitter? Make up your mind. This panel controls the containment field. The field is centered on the harmonic collector. Hmm. Well. Okay, not much to do here. Um, let's see if anybody else can tell me what to do. I'd like to contact Healer Zolis. Okay, we'll contact Healer Zolis.